Which one should I start with? Start off with the swim jig. Got this on my new Shimano Corrado. Then I got this on the Alabama flipping rod. I shouldn't be throwing it on this, but the tip is good on this one, so I should be able to throw this pretty easy, but if not, we'll switch to something else. It's a tad bit hot out here already, and it's only like nine o'clock in the morning. All right, at another spot. Let's catch a 10 pounder. I think it's a good day. Hopefully this wind is picking up. I'll get them to start eating. We ain't got a fish yet. Been here for about a good 20 minutes. No fish, but we still got time. I'm gonna try a swim jig down this bank first. Then down this bank. There's shallow grass out here, but it's deep out there and it's shallow over there. So I'm gonna try the shallow parts first and see what we can do. I think I'm actually gonna throw just a Cinco with a little weight on it, quarter ounce weight. I need to get a fish on the board. It's a little deep spot right here. And it comes up shallow this way to like four feet. One. Seems like a good one too. I'm not jumping. Gotta be a good one. Oh yeah. Gotta be a good one. Good one for the first fish of the day. Good like fourth pounder. Maybe three. I don't know. That is a strong fish. Come on, little buddy. Oh, that's a five pounder. That's a nice one. First fish of the day. Let's go. Oh, let's go. First one pinned him good too. Look at that mouth. Really nice chunky fish five pounder I'm guessing it's a five pounder I'm a gambler ace with blue tip black and blue with the blue tip my favorite Cinco ever, ever. let's get a weight on this thing this might be a six pounder I don't know what do you guys think before I wait it what do you think giant what's up buddy all right, gonna zero this thing out. Got it at zero. All right, I knew it had to be six. Six pounds, five ounces. All right, let's get a release on this thing. And go catch your big brother, or your big sister, really. That was awesome. That was a great fight. Six pounds, five ounces. First fish of the day. See if we can get 20 pounds. Miss six. So if we get two more of those, basically at 20 pounds. So I was throwing moving baits early. They weren't biting them. I wouldn't get a nibble. So I knew if I slowed down, I know there's fish here. I knew it. I just knew it. So I slowed down, just threw a Cinco with a one quarter ounce um, swagger tackle tungsten on there check below if you want a discount on the best tungstens out there man i'm um, swagger tackle.com use code danny b10 for 10 percent off every order you make but anyway just slow hop hopping it off the bottom and then boom thing hit that thing hard so hopefully we can catch another one let's go first 30 minutes get a six pounder gotta love florida fishing man so there's a lot of deep grass on this spot so all I'm doing is pulling it up to a clump of grass. When I feel it, I just kind of shimmy it through it. If it gets stuck, I'll just pop it through it really quick. Quick pop just to get it through. And that's when that big one picked my bait up. Now we just need four other ones to commit. Oh, there's a bite. 
Another big one. Yep, another big one. Oh, that was awesome. That's another big one. I was gonna jump again. Nope. About a good four pounder. It's like a three. They fight hard, man. That might be a four. That probably is a four. Go oh, probably right at 10 pounds already. Dang, skinny. Skinny little guy. Got him right in the corner of the mouth. All right, number two. They must be stacked up on this spot out here. They're a little bit deeper. Oh, zeroed out. I say this one's like 310. I said 310, it's 35. And I had a 6.5. Nice one. This one would be definitely be a four pounder if it wasn't so skinny right now. Look at that. Super skinny. See ya. Now I probably need a new bait. Got about 10 pounds of bass on this one Cinco, so it did its job. I think this is actually a 3 8 um, tungsten weight from Swagger Tackle. But oh yeah, just Rick Texas rigging it like normal. Just line it up like that. Put it in the middle. All set. I do have a bobber stopper on this because of all the grass. Otherwise, I'm just going to be pulling grass everywhere. All right, two bass for almost 10 pounds. <sighs> almost to 20 pounds. Just heard a bass down there. Got another bite. Oh, I missed them. Oh. Dang it. Come on, Dan. I don't think I let him eat it. I think he just picked it up and then tried to hit him before he actually ate it. Dang. That boy. That one's performing pretty good. That's a big one. Another giant. That's another six. Another six pounder, man. Oh, God. Right in the top of the mouth. That's how you want to hook set, man. That's how you want to hook set. Boom. Another big one. Let's go. Whew. We found them, guys. We found them. It's three fish in a matter of 15 minutes. Oh, man. That's a five. That gotta be a five. We're zeroed out. Yeah, it gotta be a five. Right on it. Five one. Another nice one. Woo! That jump was awesome. Hope I got that on camera. Woo, buddy. Alright, gotta let it go. This is pretty awesome, man. Dang. This never gets old. Never gets old. Let's get this thing released. See you, buddy. Come on now. Tell me that's not a good day right now. It's only been 30 minutes since I've been at this spot. Caught a 6.5, a 3.5, and then that 5.1. I think we're gonna hit that 20 pound mark. I think we're gonna do it. All right, let's go. Another one. Another good one. About to jump. get a combo. Oh, this one's strong. He ate that thing. Oh, look at that one. All right, gotta get this one hooked. He kind of swallowed it. This one's like biting my hand. It's another five, man. It has to be another five. It might be another six. This one's kind of long. Look at that thing. Look at that one, man. Giant. Get a weight on him really quick and we'll let him go. Zeroed out. Dang, man, another six pounder. 
six one. Ah! Crazy. They're stacked up in this spot. All right, gonna let this one go. There he goes. Another giant. Let's go. So I can't complain about that day. All of them were on this. A 3 8 ounce swagger tackle tungsten. A 4 out flipping hook. I think this is a VMC flipping hook. I usually use Trocar. The bait is gonna be the Gambler Ace. Black and blue with the blue tip. The rod. Ultimate jig rod. Seven foot McCain fishing rod. I'm kind of McCained out today. I didn't even realize it until I got on the water, but got the hat, got the shirt, got the rod. And got the fish so it was a great day if you like the video make sure you subscribe like and subscribe we're gonna have a lot more action coming up see you next time